Hey guys, it is Storm. I am back having a fresh look at my modern house design uh, that I uploaded to my channel some time ago. And I thought I would address probably the number one feedback that you guys have been leaving on that particular video, which is you show the outside exterior look of this house, but what does the interior look like? That's probably the number one comment left on that particular video. So without further ado, let's take a quick look on the inside of this house. Not what you're expecting. <laughs> okay, so this particular house on this map um, does not have an interior. This is uh, where I just built this house for the tutorial video. It's, um, I originally built this house in my survival uh, single player world, which I've been calling Tiverton. There's a couple of videos up on my channel about that uh, world. Um, so I'll show you the interior from that map uh, towards the end of this video, but I thought I'd also address uh, the other main comment that you guys have been leaving, which is uh, there's a lot of wood in the making of this house. So what would this house look like if you were to make it, or at least parts of this house, out of different building blocks besides wood? So we'll take a look at that. Um, you would have seen me do a version of this house with different block types at the start of this video. So let's jump in and look at that, uh, that particular building and we'll also work on the interior of that house. Alrighty, so here we are looking at a slightly different version of the modern house design. Um, the main difference here is just the where I originally had oak and spruce wood blocks, I've replaced those with brown hardened clay and jungle wood plank blocks. So these materials are probably a little bit easier to gather than it is for the oak and spruce wood blocks, um, because they aren't planks, they're all actual wood blocks. Um, and this is what a, another version of this house could look like using those different building materials. Uh, I really like these colour combinations. I think that the brown and this pinkish jungle wood colour go really nice together. And yeah, this is a, a I guess a different version of the, the house that I've come up with. Okay, so now we're taking a look at the renovated version of the modified version of the modern house. <laughs> Hope you can keep up. And that is, this is where I've uh, extended up the top floor on this edge of the building. Originally, this uh, on this angle of this house, the roof angled down in this direction. So the area on this top floor down this end of the house was quite cramped. So we've extended that up, do a little bit of renovation. And I think this is a, another a slight take different uh, overall look uh, of the modern house design. And yeah, hopefully you guys like this look as well. Now I did add a slight few changes to the overall accents to the windows as well. The main difference is being on this uh, front face of the building and on the opposite end, which is I've replaced the overhang on the windows with just these trap doors on the side. So these to me represent shutters or maybe the, some kind of shutters on your windows and nothing else has really changed. I think all these other windows are almost the same and I put shutters on this opposite side of the building as well. So again, nothing uh, too crazy to change this, only a few little slight changes and you have a different type of look. Um, and I think you can relate that this is an extension of that modern house. And yeah, I, I really like this look as well. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Now I will add a slight few changes to the plant boxes that I had on the outside of the original modern house build. And that is I'm thinking of doing a combination like this where I use grass blocks with ladders on the outside to offset uh, the dirt texture you have on the ends. So I think that will look quite nice and we'll add some pot plants on top and we'll probably add in just some oak saplings on top here. And uh, you will get a good view from the windows as well when you look out and you see those pot plants. And I think uh, going with uh, the wood color, or not necessarily wood blocks, but with ladders here, uh, rather than using trapdoors, I think it keeps just a slightly different look to this overall building. And yeah, I guess you could say I'm keeping true with a, a renovated look rather than a redesign of the uh, original uh, modern house. So let's do the same on uh, the back end of the house. And I think we'll add a slightly different color combination for uh, the saplings. I don't want to use flowers because I'm thinking of using flowers in the garden um, for the colours. Let's see what this looks like. I'll just add a slightly different uh, look with the uh, saplings. I'm going to add a jungle tree uh, sapling in the middle there. So there we go. I think that looks 
quite nice. Now something else I was thinking of doing, slightly different to the original house design, is in this balcony area, I'm going to change uh, what this entrance uh, area looks like to the balcony. So one key difference here that I wanted to try to see what it looks like, um, see if this looks okay, is to add a basically a plant bed uh, on this top floor level here. And I'll we'll look at the inside of here in, in a minute. But let's see what this looks like. I haven't tried this. Let's see if this looks crap or if it looks okay. Uh, that don't think it looks terrible. Now I guess if you wanted to prevent anyone uh, shooting through here, or maybe not so much shooting, but at least jumping in, or maybe you don't want bats flying in here, what you could do is you could add some uh, fences on top there. I think that colour combination with the green there looks quite nice, particularly with also the, the brown hardened clay blocks there. Now you're probably wondering how do you get on the balcony now, so what I'm thinking of doing is changing uh, this side. We'll add, I think we'll add a door here. Need to be able to get in. And I think this colour scheme would look quite nice as well, where I add the nether brick fences on that side of the building. Could be where you grow grapes up to your, your lattice work, I guess, in your building. I think that design looks quite nice. Yeah, I think I'm digging that look. I think that works. So let's take a look on the inside. Now probably the first thing you're going to notice is what the hell <laughs> with the flooring in here. This is uh, dyed green hardened clay blocks. And probably first thought uh, as well, I'd, I'd agree with you, it looks kind of weird. Um, but I have a vision and that is I think this will look quite nice when I put in some furnishings in here, uh, particularly using some of the, the lighter blocks to emphasize the furnishings. So I'm hoping this is going to look okay. What we'll do is I'll just take a quick look upstairs and and uh, we'll take a look at the general base outline for this building and then we'll start working on the interior to see what this will look like going with a flooring colour like this. This is probably something that you won't see in, in many houses, this kind of flooring, um, but maybe you could think of this as more of uh, an extension of uh, carpeting across the whole floor rather than just being a floor in itself. But anyway, let's, first of all, let's talk about these stairs. So this stairs is a little bit different to the original modern house design where I had the stairs running this way on the back of the house. And that is I've made these stairs uh, go up and down. So I've put them, put the stairs on this end of the building so it doesn't take up too much space. Um, but also adding in these pot plants and a little bit of greenery here. Um, I think it keeps this end of the building nice and light and bright and I don't clutter it too much. That was the main thing that I don't want to achieve with this kind of house design is I it would be a shame to build a house, a house like this and then clutter it with just random stuff on the inside. So I think with these stairs designs, just a very simple uh, up and down, one down going down to the basement area here. And I've just put in some uh, redstone lamps here to illuminate this side of the house. And going upstairs, all I've done up here is just put in a very simple um, fenced off area for uh, the stairway here. So what we'll, do, we'll just add in ladders on that side. And I think that, there we go, that's pretty much it for the overall base design. Originally, as I was saying before, that this end of the house uh, was sloped downwards uh, from the roof design. So it was quite narrow on this end of the building. Um, but with a look like this, um, you get a little bit of extra space up here. And I'll probably turn this upstairs area into uh, just a bedroom area with maybe some storage. And downstairs, I'm thinking of putting in a kitchen and a very basic dining area. So I'll get started on that and then I'll get back to you guys once I've got something to show. Okay, I've been working on the kitchen area and this is what I've come up with. Uh, I didn't go overboard with the detailing, just got a simple table here, uh, nice bright colours and I can start to see the flooring design isn't such a terrible idea when you start adding in some, uh, some detailing into the furnishings. So I think with a table set up like this it's nice and bright and it makes it stand out. And I'll probably add in some kind of couches on this side for the living area. And yeah, let's just take a look at the more of the features here of the kitchen. We've just got some storage on this end, uh, the furnace, and just some brewing stands on top here for the cooking area. 
Now this is something that's got a little bit of redstone which is a fully functioning and stocked uh, fridge. So all it is is you throw in your food items inside uh, this hopper that connects down to a dispenser down here. So when I click this button I get something to eat. So what did I get? I got a carrot I think. So let's put that away. I think I've got a carrot. And that time I got a cooked pork chop. So it's a, all it is is a dispenser underneath this block with a button here. And to load it, I've just connected up some hoppers uh, through to the dispenser. So nothing crazy. Nice and simple kitchen. And yeah, I think it's still relatively uh, pack and practical for Minecraft as well. You've got your crafting area, your storage, and you can still cook your items inside your uh, furnaces there. So I think I'll get started on the rest of the building and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright, see you in a sec. Okie dokie, so I've finished the rest of the interior and this is what the rest of the downstairs area looks like. Just a couple of extra objects in here, just put a carpet in here with some lighting underneath uh, just to help with, uh, I don't want the light level to drop below 7 in here so mobs will <laughs> not spawn inside the house. So I put some lights underneath this piston here for this, this table. And just a very simple couch design here. I've got a jukebox and just a little uh, anvil there to do your repairing in here. So this, this is probably where you do most of your work inside this building. Um, a little bit of storage and yeah, it's probably where you do most of your crafting and cooking and whatnot. So let's take a look upstairs. Um, I didn't add too much detail up here. All it is is a very simple uh, I guess you could say <laughs> bedroom, a couch here, just a couple of paintings and I just added in here a couple of double chests so even this little small area here you get uh, a little bit of storage uh, for your items and on the balcony here this is a little bit different to the original modern house design which is I just put in here rather than a table I put in a very nice stretched out uh, lounge suite so you want to sit out here at night time Grab a drink, just look at the view. Uh, I think this is a nice, nice simple look. And I think it works with this overall house design that I've gone for. Let's take a quick look at the balconies. Um, it's not that much detail out here. And all I've got here is a just a single chair. Maybe it's a little deck chair. And I did add a, a cauldron on the balcony here, which is exposed to sunlight. So if it did rain, it has a chance to fill with water. Um, so that's pretty cool. A little bit of function and practicality to that. And uh, I guess there's not too many details in here. I am sort of flying through this, but um, there's not that much, many things to show, really, to be honest. And on this other balcony, um, it's similar to the opposite side, except for I didn't add a cordon on this side. It's just got the, the pot plants. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like this kind of video. I do appreciate your feedback. And I'll leave you with a bit of a cinematic look of the interior for this house design. And I'll also walk you through and show you guys the interior for the original modern house design, uh, which is from my single player survival world Tiverton. Uh, there's a few videos on my channel about that map. Uh, so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys next time.